Hello everyone, Drist here, and today we are going after the Plate Helm of Courage. And before I jump into it, don't forget to subscribe, you should find a link in the bottom of the screen, so click that link. And of course I value all the feedback I can get, so comment in that comment section. So, looking at the quest here, it says Highvale Outskirts is our location where we need to go. And it says, Huntsman Sven in his hunting cabin is looking for courageous outlanders that would be me, uh, to kill the rogue Cabal Frostgeist. Doing so will lead you to the quest that awards the Plate Helm of Courage. So there we go. As you can see, we're collecting the Virtue set for the Plate Armor set. And we currently have the Plate uh, Chest piece. So now we're going after that helm. So, without further ado, off to Highvale Outskirts. Alright, here we are. We're outside of the Highvale Outskirts. And looking at our map here, uh, the Sprinties are right about here. So basically all we did is we jumped through uh, Nightshade Pass and worked our way up and around and there we are. So that's uh, High Vale Outskirts right there. So let's jump in here and see what we can find. I don't think I've ever been here before. Okay, here we are inside of High Vale Outskirts. And if we look at our map here, you can actually see where you need to go on the map. So if you follow this road down all the way down here and then hang a left right there, come on down to here, you see that? Hover over that and it says Hunter's Cabin. That's where we need to go. That's where we're going to find Huntsman Sven. So let's head on out and see what we can see. And let's pop some light because it looks like it's getting dark on us. So I have not been in here before and uh, at least I don't think I've been in this one before. But from a distance, I was seeing some weird looking uh, creatures there. What are they, those small ice wolves? Huh, interesting. This doesn't look like an icy area, but there we go. We have some ice wolves there, so. I wonder if there's a story behind that. Probably. Anywho, we're following this down, and there's an obsidian elf there. And look at that. Are those elementals there? Frostgeist. Oh. We're after a Frostgeist eventually, aren't we? I think so. A giant one or something. If I remember correctly from the notes. Let's look at the notes real quick, actually. <laughs> Let's see. What does it say? We are going uh, a Kobold Frostgeist. Okay. Are they attacking me? Anyways, we hang a left here. And they are attacking me. Stay back, foul creature. And it is getting dark on us. That's okay. We don't need no stinking light. We got our own light. And there he is. There's his hunting shack or hunting cabin. And let's go inside and talk to Huntsman Sven. He should be inside. Huntsman Sven knocking on the door. There you are. He's a hunter. Clear we haven't identified ourselves yet. He says, You're not from around here, are ya? I can tell because if you were, you wouldn't be wandering around wandering alone. Buh, 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 buh. I can't talk. You're not from around here, are you? I can tell because if you were, you wouldn't be wandering about outside like everything's good. What's your name, stranger? So I can tell you're next to kin that I met you. Well, sir, I am Sir Tugo. Sir Tugo? Huh? Wish I could give you a better welcome, but these days warrant extreme caution. What brings you to these dangerous parts? What does bring me to these dangerous parts? Um, help. Do you need some help, sir? I suppose I could use some help, actually. A glowing blue reptilian beast chased me into my cabin. I know this thing is also responsible for uh, thinning out the game around here. I've faced many powerful beasts in my day, but nothing like that big monster, or that should say that blue monster. If you would hunt it down and kill it, 
I could resume making my living hunting regular, normal animals like nature intended. I honestly don't think I'd survive another encounter with that thing, but you... There's something about you that's different. Powerful, even. I've heard of beings called avatars. Is that what you are? What is that what you are called? Uh, yes, yes, I am an avatar. So it's true. You are more than just another human. I've only heard stories about your kind, but I never thought I'd meet one. I can't wait to see you in action. All right. Does that mean we we have our, picked up our quest? There it is. Uh, Swins. Sven's Blue Beast. And our journal says a huntsman by the name of Sven is holed up in a hunting cabin in the middle of Highvale outskirts. Eventually there is an un Evidently, I can't talk today. Evidently there is an unnatural glowing blue reptilian beast lurking in the vicinity, scaring away the natural game and scaring Sven even more. Sven recognized that I was different from the normal humans of the land, so he asked me to find this glowing blue beast and kill it. Doing so will allow Sven to once again practice his trade. So there we go. That's what we need to do. So, let's say goodbye to Sven. Goodbye, Sven. And go track down this blue beast, wherever it may be. Alright, we're back. And I think I spotted our prey, and I'm inclined to think this fellow only comes out at night. So if you're going to track him down, I say it's a knight. So there he is, a glowing blue beast. That's our prey. So we need to go take him out. Do I need to buff up? No, I don't need to buff up. Oh, he's uh, attacking somebody. Somebody's attacking him. Oh, that wizard don't stand. And he's dead. Sven's Blue Beast. And there is the Rogue Cobalt Frostgeist Skull. Woohoo! So we, what, take that back to Sven? Uh, our journal entry didn't change, but we got his skull. Let's go talk to Sven again and see if that will uh, complete it for us. Obviously, that's a very uh, noob area, and he was a very early guy, so I'm very far more advanced than him. But uh, if you are uh, new to the game and you're doing this, he will probably be just right for you. Sven, I got his skull. Oh, yep, there we go. So we talked to Sven, and he wants us. Hunter is looking for a rogue kobold frost guy skull. So we find it there amongst our goodies, and where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Bro, where is it? Looking for you. <laughs> I can't find it. It's there. By golly. There it is. Right there. Give that to him. Give items. And he's and there we go. You gain eight thousand experience needed for skill development. You receive two hundred fifty gold. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> Need to wet my whistle there. And you gave an item, Rogue Cobalt Frost Guy Skull of Honor, to him, and I received a Rogue Cobalt Frost Guy Skull from Hunter. Really, he gave it back to me. That now that's an impressive now that's impressive. I've never seen anything like quite like it. It's like it's made of ice, but it's not. But it's not. What oh, it's but it's not wet or even showing signs of melting. I mean, it's cold, but not blah. It doesn't matter. You did the harvest thing. I've you did the heart. But I can't talk today. You did the. You did the bravest thing I've ever witnessed. In fact, I think you might be the perfect person to get this plate helm of courage. Woohoo! So there we go. And if we continue, and uh, that's it. We got our uh, helm of courage. So we're going to say goodbye to him and step out here. That was a simple one. We came, we saw, we kicked some ass, and we got ourselves a uh, helmet out of it. So, where's my helmet? You just gave it to me, didn't you? 
What is going on here? <clears throat> you were supposed to have given me that helmet. I don't see it. Play Helmet Courage. Oh, we're not done talking, apparently. <laughs> Oops. I f Let's see. I don't like that down there. I found this old plate helm during one of... Hey, I'm trying to read that. <clears throat> I found this old plate helm during one of my hunting e expeditions out here. Even though it was pretty beat up, I could tell there was something special about it. I ended up taking it to Resolute. Hello, I'm trying to talk here to see if I was right. And as it turned out, I was. The blacksmith there told me this was the... Plate Helm of Courage, a finely crafted plate helm to be worn by only the greatest examples of courage. Unfortunately, the helm was so badly tarnished and aged, it was virtually useless. When I inquired about fixing it, the blacksmith informed me that it would require enchanted copper ore to properly repair the helm, so I took it back and kept it hidden here until I could find enchanted copper ore <coughs> so we need enchanted copper ore <clears throat> as you can imagine enchanted copper ore isn't easy to come by I did a bit of research and the only place to get enchanted copper ore is off a golem made of the ore an elemental that is made of the ore, or anything that is made of the ore, and has been animated by magic. I'm a great hunter, but the things I hunt are natural and alive. I wouldn't know what to do against one of those animated ore creatures, but you, you know how to handle a copper golem. I'm sure of it. Yes, yes, I would know what to do, how to handle one. What else are we saying here? Very recently, in fact, it was a fortnight ago, I was hunting near an outcropping of large rocks west from here, deep within the trees. I saw a huge rocky beast covered in what looked like copper ore veins. I didn't stay long enough to get a better view, but I did notice an abandoned camp near the thing. I'm willing to bet that what I saw was a copper golem. I have no idea how it got there, but if it's a copper golem, then... Killing it should provide you with enough enchanted copper to fix this helm. Here, take the helm. You deserve it. Now go after that copper golem, get the magic ore, and take it to that blacksmith up in the monastery. If he has any renown, he'll know what that he'll know what that helm is and how to fix it. Good luck, Shirtugal. All right. <clears throat> so, boy, looks like our uh, journal updated, and now we have to track down some enchanted ore for the Courage Helm. My dispatching of the Rogue Kobold really seemed to uh, endear Se Seven Sven to me, and he said that my extreme act of courage, and he said goodbye to me. Apparently, he doesn't want to talk to me anymore. <laughs> He gave me the remains of a special plate helm and called the Plate Helm of Courage. It's currently not in a usable state, but he did inform me that there is a possibly a copper golem due west of his cabin. Extracting the enchanted copper ore from the defeated creature should give me enough ore to have a blacksmith in the monastery repair the item. So there we go. We need to go find this golem, we need to extract the ore, and we need to go to the monastery. So. I will be back once I found this golem. All right, I found the golem. Before I do, and I take you there, it's light out here. And I said before, I think this guy can only come out at night, but he's actually not true. There he is. It's daytime, and he respawned, and it's, uh, there he is. So, day or night, <coughs> he would actually be just be hanging right outside the cabin. So, there we go. Anyways, to go get this golem, we need to head west. And I'm going to keep my map open here because uh, I actually had a hard time finding this golem. So let's keep the map open here. Come on, you. Trying to minimize. There you go. 
So there we are, and we'll show you where I'm going to go. We need to go west, 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 right through here, right through there. So we're heading west, la la la, going west, and come down through here. It's actually not far, it's just right up here. And I will drift over this way. And kind of come up here. You see that little uh, stuff off our right? We need to go between that. So we're going to head over this way. Keep going straight. <clears throat> so we have this off to your right there. And we have that tower off to the left. And we're just going to cut right down the middle of them. And there he is. You should uh, see him right up there. Right there. That's our golem. So, right there. And that's where we're at on the map. So, in fact, there it is. Apparently everything is shown on the map. So, <laughs> you can find it by looking on the map. So, let's go kick his butt. We're coming for you, golem. Obviously, depending on how uh, skilled you are, this could be easy or hard. In my case, overpowered, he went down. And there's our enchanted copper ore. So now, we need to go to the monastery. Okay. <coughs> We're back at roughly the starting point where, where we entered the scene. And there's actually a faster way to get back here. Um involving mirrors which you would have to I believe complete a quest because I went to the mirror that was down there and it didn't work for me because I haven't completed that whatever quest it was to unlock it so but if you've done that you probably have a quick way to get back to the monastery otherwise it's the slow route which I just took so we come back to the starting point and then um, <clears throat> we come up here and there's two sets of elevators here we hit the first one and look at that view that's awesome we're going up and up and up and up. <coughs> oh, did somebody die there? <laughs> somebody died there. <laughs> so then we come over here. <coughs> and somebody died there too. <coughs> and hit that elevator. <coughs> Boy, we're really high there. Look at that view. You think I can survive that fall? Maybe if I backflip, huh? <laughs> so we'll come over here. And right through there is a staircase. So we're going to go up the staircase. It's a circular kind that's going to get you all dizzy. Uh, come out the top. <laughs> and then um, right through here. And out the door. And the blacksmith is right over here. And let's talk to him. And we are going to ask him. So we have a plate helm of courage here. And he says, what's this? Enchanted copper ore and the famed plate helm of courage. Indeed, I certainly can fix this with that ore. Let's have a look-see. So we need to give him, we need to give him the ore and we need to give him the play, the helm. So let's give him the helm and let's give him the enchanted ore. Where is the enchanted ore? There's the enchanted ore. Give items. And it says you gain 10,000 experience, need a four skill development. And I received 250 gold, and I gave him those two items. And then I received an item, Plate Helm of Courage, from Milton the Blacksmith. And it says, It's amazing how easy it is to mold Enchanted Ore to an old magical item like the Plate Helm of Courage. It's like it's begging to be repaired. And there you go. Good as new. Use it in good health, Avatar. So we're going to say goodbye. Because we have our helm now. And let's try it on. Let's get out into the light. 
There's some light. Let's try it on. Zoom in here. And where is that thing at? Plain Helm of Courage. Eh. Okay. That's different. Oh, I see my eyes. I was like, where's my eyes? I don't I can't see. <laughs> and let's put that on. Alright. Two pieces out of the five acquired. We have three more to go. And so I uh, don't know which one we're going to find look for next, but I will let you know when I decide. Until then. Don't forget to subscribe. There should be a link in the bottom of the screen, so click that link. And, of course, I appreciate all the feedback and comments I can get in the comment section. Real quick, look at that. Okay, so it's a damage resistance and plus 10 health. And I still have the same question as before. There is no pattern, apparently, that drops with this. And should I, or dare I, or even can I enchant it and masterwork it to give it more stats? So, anyways, I will see you next time.